Okay, I'm, I'm here with the uh, report. Yeah. Uh, so what do you have? Yeah, so this is our uh, this is our first attempt at a, a fully built product. We're calling it the Rep Box. Uh, it is a spool management system. We're calling it, and uh, with the advent of a lot of the multi material units, the pallet, the MMU, the new MMU from Prusa, we thought that was a good opportunity to do a better job of handling the spools. So there's like your stock setup that comes with the original MMU, and you can see it's just a little bit bulkier. It's not in Close. We thought we could do a better job, so we uh, we're, we're showing off. So we uh, we did the acrylic version to kind of show the inner workings and the simplicity of the design. Yeah. By my friend, a pyro right here, aka T Dubs Travis Womack. Um, the whole thing is held together by literally like six screws on the end. So it just sandwiches the end plates in. We um, it's not a dry box, but we minimized. We didn't use traditional nut traps because we didn't want to have extra holes all in it. So really, it does uh, decently well just keeping desiccant in it if you're not in a, the most demanding, humid environment. Uh, and of course, there's other options too if you wanted to put like a heated mat or something inside of it. But for now, it's we're calling it a spool organization system. Yeah. The whole thing is modular, so it opens up for easy loading in and out. Each one of them is on an independent roller so that uh, you can be printing with a couple and you can be changing out colors or materials on the fly. I've, I've just shown them here with my 500 gram spools, but it's designed to take five full-size kilos. The, the, standard, the, more, the more traditional uh, eight inch flange style width. And we did that uh, intentionally so it was going to be ready to go with the new Prusa uh, MMU that's a five five filament. Yeah, cool. So this is our showpiece and then this is the, the product. We have steel panels on MDF, lid hinge, same thing, magnetic catch on the front. These are the uh, sliding, yeah, we're, so we're calling them roller sandwiches. So you adjust it to whatever spool you need. Yeah. It's based on the uh, Tush style roller that um, you see that that's on uh, Thingiverse. Mm -hmm. And we just did a laser cut version of it and added the notching so that it would go on our rail system. Um, we've already, of course, as any good maker would, uh, this is our beta unit. The production uh, one is gonna have a couple tweaks to it. Um, we've had a lot of awesome feedback from people just coming through here. What would it be like if it had extrusion in here? What it would it be like if it had, you know, uh, extra desiccant, you know, holders and stuff like that? So it's this is one of the things that's awesome about being at Murph is that everybody's just full of great ideas and helpful stuff. So yeah. you meet all your users. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, customers. Yeah, so um, right now it's going to be available uh, this coming week. Uh, watch the website; it'll be available eighty nine ninety nine as a kit. It takes five minutes to put together. It's very few pieces, and uh, we just went with simplicity of design. The last thing we wanted to be able to have it as a desktop. It's also designed to be stackable. So we're working on uh, 3D printable feet so that it can actually stack on top of the other one. And then my favorite part is that it's well mountable. It's a traditional French cleat. Yeah. And it's literally just that easy. It's secure, even fully loaded with five spools. It's it's nice and it's it's easy if you want to take it off to load it, put it back on, you're good to go. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, so, Matt. Thank, thank you. <laughs>